ladies, gentlemen, and otaku alike, this is Recall Reviews. Attilio, back here again, and I recall it for you. Today, I'm going to talk about Erda the Third Reich. Why? Well, because it's really short and I needed a video out. Erda was directed by Romanov Higa, or Haiga, I apologize if I pronounce that wrong, and produced by Romanov Films, licensed in the U.S. by Media Blasters. Yeah, that Media Blasters. And that's really all there is as far as the extra info about this goes, so let's get right into it. The OVA starts out in a prison cell where a soldier is debriefing a guard about a prisoner. And wow! The CGI looks just like an early PlayStation 2 anime cutscene. You think I'm kidding? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I also hope that this first scene doesn't indicate the potential for bad voice acting for the rest of this OVA. We continue this way. Therefore, we must get what we can. There is no other choice. And now you gotta look out. The Nazi trains are coming. We have our main character, Erna Kurtz, voiced here by Cindy Robinson, and we also have our first action scene, and, well, just watch. Bad doesn't even begin to describe how awful this is. The poor PlayStation 2 era CG not only looks bad and is poorly directed, but the action is slow and the sound design is atrocious to boot. That aside, our hero dispatches the soldiers around her and confronts the man with the captive girl. And we have more of that wonderful voice acting. <laughs> As if you would! Uh, damn you, I can't believe you shot her! Sorry about that. The villains shoot a rocket at the train, derailing it, and we get more splendidly bad sound effects. The train starts rolling over the tracks and down the hill when Erna takes the girl and... Come on! Uh, 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 uh. What? Why the hell does it look like a bad green screen effect? The whole OVA is CG! I've seen better in Neil Breen movies. And no, I am not going to talk about any of those. I don't want the cinema snob coming after me. Erna's friend Janet, voiced here by Mommy Maynard, rides in at the last second to catch her and the mystery girl. And we finally get the name of the girl. Well, Erna, what happened? Don't you know you're supposed to get Herman? So what are you telling me? That this girl looks like a 40-year-old man with glasses? Hmm. Then? What happened this time? You always accomplish your mission when you receive your orders. She has something to do with the project. Fine. You got it. Okay, what's your name? What were you doing on that train? I'm Chris. I know I came from the future. From the year 2112. Why is it always Nazis and time travel? Chris is voiced here by Rebecca Fordstad, 
and she explains her backstory of how she got sent back in time to 1943 in a spaceship. We basically get the backstory in a voiceover intercut between an action scene of Erna, Janet, and Chris going to the spaceship and a scene of the three of them talking in a room about the ship. They ride off the bridge and... What? No! That in no way is possible! Their legs would be jelly afterwards! During this, we are introduced to Grimhild Kurtz, voiced here by Mona Marshall. And... It's Grimhild. Wow. Okay. That's even more ridiculous than the kick off the wall. We get more exposition. This time about Erna herself. This is intercut between Janet telling Chris about Erna and Grimhild while we have a not fan service scene of Erna stripping, revealing scars everywhere. And bad melee combat with its own forced dialogue between Erna and Grimhild. It's been a while. How are you, my child? Have you missed me? When Anna was little, they erased her memory. They raised her as a cold-blooded killing machine. You are not my mother. We have nothing in common. Ha! Ten years ago, I saved you from near death and raised you. Have you forgotten your debt to me? In order to protect Chris, Erna takes her and dives off the vehicle Janet was driving. But she gets knocked out. In doing so, they are captured. And... We get a hyperspeed flashback of how Erna and Janet met when Erna defected from her position as a Nazi soldier. Then she learned that the drugs they gave Chris to get her to reveal the secrets of the ship, the same that Grimhild used on Erna, also alters the pigment of the affected's hair. We get another bad cutscene as Janet is spotted and more exposition about Chris. Oh, and look at that! There's even texture clipping! Back to the future. They will extract the data, then destroy me. And again, instead of killing them, they just tie them up again. Leading to Janet's plan for escape in rigging explosives everywhere to go off once everyone was sufficiently distracted. Our heroes take off in the ship and Erna, with Chris's help, uses a railgun to blow up a tank. I'll do it. Are you ready? Alan, voiced here by Joshua Seth, two first names, says the most anime thing in this OVA and explains how to time travel. The same location where all the trouble began. The vibrations from the two holes has created a rift in the time continuum. The energy balance between the two wormholes will determine the exact location of the opening. Therefore, if we can create a program to calculate the time continuum using this data, we should be able to get back to the future. I haven't mentioned him before, since he really wasn't important until now. We have what is supposed to be a tender scene between Erna and Chris, but it feels... well, let's watch. ...protect you until you get back to the future. Your parents must be worried. I'm afraid I don't have any parents. Sorry. But if you stay here, there will be more battles to gain control over your knowledge and skills. What if you erase my memory? The Allies don't have that technology. There's only one choice. Uh. I won't miss this time. Uh. <laughs> Chris, you uh. saved my life earlier. You'll have more chance going back. Be very brave, like you were before. Do you feel better? 
A long time ago, someone held me like this, and it made me feel safe. While they prepare to jump back to the future, we have an okay looking dog fight scene in the sky, and another awful melee fight between Erna and Grimhild. And of course, like the pattern has been, Erna kinda always gets punked at the end and loses. Grimhild gets into the ship and makes Chris change the time period she was set to jump to. Erna comes in, gets one over on Grimhild, and Alan is actually the one who kills her in the end? And wait, no, she isn't dead? And then Erna shoots her again, Erna flies off the ship, Janet is flying, and Chris falls towards the wormhole, and both Erna and Janet fail to catch her, and then... Send the ship back ten years, ten years ago, near death. You have more gray hair. Of course it turns out that Chris is actually Erna. I'm fairly certain this created some kind of time loop. Not to mention the fact that there should be some kind of time paradox with the past version of Chris, well, Erna, meeting and touching in the future. And we close out on a touching little moment between Erna and Janet. That kind of looks like Janet's about to cap Erna in the back of her head. What happened to Chris? Did she make it? Is she back to the future? <laughs> what happened to her? Well, she got stronger. Huh? She's gone. I know it was in the wrong direction, but... I see. If our Chris is still alive, then maybe we'll see her again. Huh. I'm sure after this, she won't run from the past. She'll go forward. She's a real trooper. Huh. This is something new. No more sarcastic remarks, Janet. <laughs> I'm so cynical. My life is so snide and sarcastic. <laughs> and now... It's finally over. And wait, what's this? Who the fuck is she? That's not Chris. It's 20 years too early. Where? Okay. Who am I? Can you tell me your name? I can't remember. All right, let's go back to town. Someone might recognize you there. Let's say, let's say your name is Grim. Grimhild. I'm Grim... Grimhild? I like that. Yes, it was the name of my beloved wife. So then, my name is... I am Grimhild. This just leaves so many questions! Is Grimhild a time traveler too? Is she actually related to Erna and not know it? Is Chris the original Grimhild? A parallel version of Chris goes back in time, ends up becoming her own daughter somehow? What does this mean? I got it. The Grimhild scene was a flashback. Chris went back in time and got stranded. Grimhild adopted her and renamed her to Erna. Later, Erna defects and meets Janet in the prison cells. <sighs> Yes. <sighs> Later, meeting her younger self time traveling, because this is a single path timeline. No strings, no multiverse. Meaning, Chris will always be born in the future. Or, since the OVA says she was created, maybe she was cloned. Yes, let's go with that. And will always go back in time and end up in 1933 making a closed time loop for Erna, Janet, and Grimhild. But if that's the case, then the answer is clear and my reading Steiner is telling me that this is bullshit. Don't watch this. It's awful in every conceivable way. The animation is just bad. The story is all sorts of lazy. And the sound design is just the worst. 
Everything that could have gone wrong with this has gone wrong. I would be hesitant to even show this to my worst of enemies. Granted, it was so bad I did have to stop every two minutes just so I can roll on the floor and laugh my ass off. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be safe out there. You know, be smart, stay healthy. And this was Recall Reviews, and I recalled it for you.